I felt like I was betrayed because I always liked this teacher. And she thought that she didn't do anything wrong. My name is Barbara Bird. I was in class and the teacher was talking to somebody, not me at all, and talking to somebody else. And she said, can you make a decision? Just say, eeny, meeny, miny, moe, catch a n by a toe. And 50 years later, the N word is still being said in high school. Wow. Racial injustice. Wow, that could look on so many ways from employment policies to um, educational systems, meaning urban educational systems for the most part. Uh, Jose Rodriguez, I am the Director of Student Diversity Initiatives. You know, when I was an undergrad, um, I went to Allegheny College, which is a small private liberal arts school in Meadville, Pennsylvania. Um, I love my alma mater, I do. Um, and it, it was my freshman year where um, there was a writing on my dorm room door. And it wasn't hello <laughs> or welcome. Um, and it was a very, I, I didn't understand why anyone would write horrible things on so, like, this is my freshman year. So there's a lot of racial injustice and it probably will never go away regardless of um, people trying to get along and, uh, and that type of thing. But I just feel that in, people just don't understand other people and they don't tolerate other people. You know, a uh, granddaughter goes to Conestoga and they've had incidences. So, uh, you know, we had to go up there and fight about that and, and the principal and everybody was great. They were absolutely supportive but it was because of something on Instagram that should not have been said. And Fox News was in it. Um, my granddaughter, for example, got 2.5 million hits on her Instagram page, people from all over. And it's unfortunate that it happened 50 years ago for me, but it still goes on today. But racial is um, heavier. Racial is hurtful. Racial is... Um, it really shouldn't be tolerated, but it still goes on and there's not too much you can do about it. Going back to just a couple of days ago with the Starbucks, I mean, really? Are you joking? If it was two white people, do you think that probably would have played out that way? Do you think that that employee probably would even call the cops? I think when incidences happen, then we're put in the forefront of now we have to address it to some degree. And I don't think it really gets to the place where we really need it to be, a place where we're able to sit down and really um, talk about it and listen to one another. People of color tends to have harsher sentences, longer sentences for the same crime. What, what female come up to me and, and took her finger and she was looking at me in the cafeteria and I'm like, why is she staring at me? And she says, could I touch you? I was like, what? And she says, could I touch you? I was like, I guess so. And I was just like, like what is that? And she literally went and she took her finger and she was like this. Wow, it doesn't come off. And, and, and I remember like, is she serious? <laughs> like, of course it doesn't come off. Well, what did you think? <laughs> it frightens me to some level, like how much longer could society continue to go without really not waking up? Like, wake up people, like, there's a lot happening here, right? Like, wake up. Like, what are you waiting for? We don't have time. Time is going and, and lives are being affected affected and 
things are being played out on ways that I never would have imagined.